Good morning, good morning, good morning. It is indeed morning. As you guys can see behind me, it's still uh, substantially dark outside. It's about 6.30, Wednesday morning. Haven't done a morning video in a while. Honestly, probably not since the summer that uh, I did a video getting up super early. Most of the videos I do are usually on my days off where I either sleep in and get shit done in the morning or whatever, but I didn't sleep for shit last night, so I decided to get up early, try and get on a good morning bite. Main reason for that is that the wind is gonna blow this morning. The wind uh, came up yesterday. I didn't decide to go out yesterday. I just had too much stuff to get done in the afternoon even, but uh, did plan to get out first thing this morning, fish for a couple hours before the wind gets up because it's gonna be kind of nasty today. I don't really have too much to say this morning. It's really early and I'm really tired. Like I said, didn't sleep very well. No better way to take care of that than to go fishing. So let's get the boat hooked up. I'll see you guys at the boat ramp. All right, as you guys can see, we've made it to the boat ramp. Pretty bummed on this wind. It's already blowing like 10 or 12 miles an hour from the east, so we've had a big wind switch. It has been blowing from uh, the west, southwest for the most part, so wind from the east, fish bite the least. No, I don't really believe any of that stuff, but the wind is gonna suck, so hopefully we'll be able to get out I think my plan is to fish, uh, start out on some of the stuff that I fished in the last video and see if I can get that big, big fish bite going in here in the morning. And then uh, if things get weird, just go scan around for some new stuff. So hopefully we'll be able to catch some big ones here, but let's get the straps off. Gotta get the ice armor on because we're gonna need it today. It's like 30 degrees. Right now with that wind blowing, it feels like way colder. So enough of looking at my ugly ass. Let's get the straps off and get the boat in. kind of made it out to the spot here. Um, the white caps are rolling out here. That east wind sucks on this lake. An east wind or a west wind especially really, really blows. But as far as filming goes, we've been pretty lucky when it comes to the wind. So we're just gonna get out here on the main lake and try and make it happen. We may have to go and duck out of it somewhere. It's not that I don't want to fish in the wind, because I absolutely do. But when you're trying to keep jigs still and hold over a a brush pile or a tree or a suspended school of fish, this can often make it pretty difficult. So it's not because I'm a wuss and I don't want to fish in it, but it's all about being effective. So as you can see, we're rocking. So let's get the troll motor down and see what happens. All right, well, this is gonna be interesting. It's ripping out here already and it's 740. So hopefully the audio doesn't suck. That's why I got this windscreen on here. Hopefully that'll, uh, oh my God, what is going on here? Just out over our suspended stuff, you can see waves crashing against the bow, rocking back and forth, up and down. I don't know if we're gonna be able to get it done out here. Cool, thank you, motor guide. I will never buy another one of your trolling motors ever again. I dropped my jigs right where I hit spot lock and that's like seven or eight feet out in front of the boat by now. So that's cool. Real, real cool. You guys probably can't see that up there, but it's a bald eagle. So that's gotta be a good sign, right? All right, well, I did it. I sold out. Came over to uh, this bank over here. This is really the only place that I can get out of the wind even a little bit. And even still, it's really not that good, but at least the rollers aren't as bad and I can stay a little bit more still. But sitting over some good brush that I marked and scanned and 
I don't think there's going to be too much size to these fish, unfortunately, but in order to salvage this video, this is pretty much where we got to be. So we'll see if we can't get these fish over here to bite because they would not, they would not do anything on my channel spots. I just could not fish effectively over there. It's too bad. So we'll see what happens. Dear God, it's a fish. Holy Christ. Look at the size of this crappie, you guys. Master angler status. <clears throat> wow. If that's any indication of how our morning is going to go, I should probably just pack up and leave now. God damn it. Just got over this pile. It is super shallow. We're in like, well, I can't even, uh, I can't even tell because the brush is so thick right here. I think like 13, 14 maybe. There he is. Oh my God. I knew this is what I was going to have to deal with over here. Shorts, but... I rolled over this pile and it was freaking loaded and we were super shallow. This doesn't set up at all like what we've been fishing, but I don't really have a choice. <laughs> I'm fishing whatever I can fish today. I'm not gonna be picky, but if every fish is six inches or seven inches, then it's not gonna work for me. All right, well, I've just been uh, driving around scanning. I'm way farther down west on the lake right now. And I was just kind of scanning around and marked what looked like uh, white bass or wipers on the bottom so i just kind of positioned myself over them i just left my crappie jigs on for now but i may put on a jig and wrap be pretty cool to get uh get some wipers or whites obviously that's what you guys want to see i don't want to be crappie fishing all the time either so if we could get on some white bass or wipers i wouldn't be mad but they're just tucked down on the bottom. I mean, glued down to the bottom. I don't know if they'll eat a crappie jig or if I need to get the reaction baits out, but as you can tell, this wind hasn't gotten any better. I'm trying my hardest to not get really, really, really frustrated and make this day a complete wash because of the wind. Oh boy. If we can stay on these fish, I'm pretty sure I can catch them because they are 100% white bass and or wipers. Like, look at that graph. They're just stacked. Oh my God, it's happening. I got one to go. So sick. What is it? Holy shit. You gotta be kidding me right now. Please don't tell me that's what I'm marking down there. Giant gizzard shad. Oh, that would be a disappointment. I'm not touching that thing. Wouldn't that just be a disappointment? Got one. Another one. Please don't be a shad. This doesn't... If it's a shad, it's like the next world record. Oh my God, it is. Look at the size of this freaking shad. Dude, you gotta be shitting me right now. All those marks down there, giant shad. Come on. <laughs> well, if that's not the most disappointing shit ever, I don't know what is. We're out of here. Hey, you guys want the fishing report for today? There's your fishing report. Well, that wasn't so much fun, was it? The wind forecast for the day was brutally inaccurate. The wind came up way earlier than it was supposed to. Like I said before a hundred times, there's nothing worse on this lake than an east or a west wind, and it's bad. 
I got my ass kicked running around the lake. Everything's soaked. Everything's probably broken. In that east wind, I just can't do anything that I need to do. I don't really have anything on the dam worth fishing. It was tough to get out of it pretty much anywhere. I did catch the biggest shad of my life though. Really thought those were gonna be white bass or wipers, but apparently they were just shad that were big enough to look like white bass and wipers on the graph. So whatever, I should have slept in today. It is what it is. Came out, gave it a shot. But with that big wind switch, shut everything off. I fished brush piles that had fish on them, nothing. But that's just the way she goes. So if you guys noticed, I'm wearing my uncut angling beanie, go check out their channel. They just premiered the second season of 39 Hours, my all time favorite fishing series on YouTube. Uncut angling is easily my favorite channel on YouTube, hands down. Their videos don't suck this one does go check theirs out i'll see you on the next video that hopefully doesn't suck